Kyle Burke and Audie Schwartz right here in front of one of Audie's latest creations. Uh, we'll start first with Kyle and, and, and work Audie in. Kyle, uh, terrific 2012 season uh, in a car that you guys designed uh, right after this show just one year ago. Tell me about your year. Well, uh, it's probably the best year we've had, uh, not just in our number of wins. I think we closed the year out with like 18 wins. It was uh, a great year in that regard. But we won races uh, that we might not have been able to in the past. I, I feel we found more traction in the car than what we have in the past. And uh, maybe just suited for me, but it's a kind of a custom-built, tailor-fitted uh, car from bumper to bumper. And it was just a great year. We never had no engine problems. Uh, just uh, a year I was really looking forward to having, and we're hoping we can uh, duplicate and maybe even get a little better next year. Audie, uh, to have somebody like Kyle's input, his years and expertise to add to your arsenal, uh, how's it made you better being associated with him and, and uh, the race cars that you put out? Well, we, we've, I guess, talked for many years, really, behind the scenes on whatever he's been running, I guess, and I think he's uh, found a little bit of something that comes from my background that he likes to bounce things off of, and, and I like his background because he's creative, kind of like I am, and we're kind of out of the box we do things uh, maybe not normal uh, we're probably not normal but uh, he challenges me and I think I challenge him you know I think that works for us and uh, there's things on this car that uh, has been a big major inputs from him and from my other drivers as well but some of the things that he does is challenges my mind where we go next and and uh, what are we gonna do next and uh, some of the things now that we're doing his own particular car that's kind of off of spun off of this but some tweaks and changes and things that he can talk about if he wants to but kind of allowed him to do things that he says you know I've been wanting to do for years I've just never really had a chance to do it and uh, I've been I've had ends and th good things and bad things both ways from other area like oh, are you gonna spend that kind of time on doing that and this but you know, I guess in a roundabout way, if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't do it. But, uh, but I, I think both of us challenge each other, you know, and I think that works well. And speaking of challenges, uh, and we'll get back to Kyle here in just a second, but some of the challenges in building that first prototype car at your shop after this show last year? Oh, 350 hours, honestly. Is that right? 350 hours. That was probably the biggest challenge. And then watching Kyle take his first drink of uh, hot coffee <laughs> that he didn't know, I guess, was hot. But that was... Probably a challenge. <laughs> hey, Audie touched on where do you go from here? You're constantly evolving and, and tinkering and messing with. Uh, where, where do you go? Well, uh, we'll start off with definitely stay away from the hot coffee because it, it is hot. Uh, that, that was a new experience for me. But uh, all that aside, um, we're to the point I, we, we liked what we built well enough and designed together. And it was definitely a joint effort on designing the car. Um, but after 350 hours and racing a year and, and getting some wins with it, uh, we feel we're able to build a jig now, and, and he's uh, being gracious enough and part of our working together. Uh, the, the cars, my design the car will be built by him and his people at his shop. And uh, so we're going to build a jig right after the show and uh, get the jig and the fixtures up to be able to, d to duplicate cars after this. So uh, we can take some orders. You know, We're not looking to sell a lot of cars. We're not looking to sell... Uh, real soon, it'll probably be for 2014 year, but uh, we can start taking orders next year once we've got the jig up and going and race one of the cars that comes out of the jig, make sure we are where we want to be, and then we'll be able to produce them and sell them. How much variance between Kyle's cars and the cars that any customer calls and just gets if they just want a straight Schwartz car? Oh, gosh. Well, the numbers we're going to have to talk about, you know, like we discussed that a little bit last year. Enough, significantly enough that it literally takes a whole different fixture and everything, and Jackie Boggs, you know, we do some things for him. It's a little different, but but not much, you know. The, the, it's really close. You know, we've put a deal together where if I market something there with Jackie that I try to price it to where he gets paid for some of his information so that it goes along with his car and you can kind of work off with him. But Kyle, not only information, now you got a whole different beast more or less. There's a lot of things that are close, but there's still enough difference that you can walk up to the back of it and say, oh, that's a KBMR car right there by Swartz, you know, so. We saw your KBMR car hit the track for the first time uh, up in Nebraska this year without any testing. Now that you've got a year under your belt with this, this type of working agreement that you guys have, do you plan to have it done and be ready to test before the season starts this year? Uh, I would love to, but usually time doesn't allow. Uh, number one, you know, where we're located in the Midwest, the track's really 
the grounds thawed out and about a week later or less they're racing on them so you know if we can have the car 100 percent ready and hit at the first race uh, the very first week in april that's about as soon as we can get on the racetrack anyway up our way so um i've got a, several customer cars that i need to get ready and, and finished up and deals there and then i start working on my own so it gets a little tight on time but uh, i don't think we'll be doing any testing uh, until we hit the racetrack what are your plans for a schedule we're uh, waiting to see what mlra is doing um they have some Good things coming up about there with MLRA and Lucas Oil being involved. Uh, just uh, anxious to see what their schedule and ruling package is going to look like. Um, I don't see a lot changing for our program, uh, given a family of five and uh, the farm operation and customers and, and uh, all the things we got to do. It, it's hard to get eight, ten hours away from home very often. So I, uh, at this point, kind of wait and see what the series and schedules look like. But I'm closely eyeing the MLRA series. Audi, if customers want to reach you, uh, how's the best way for them to get in contact? Well, we got a website, maybe not updated like it needs to be. We're going to change that up, but we got our website and, uh, uh, of course, telephone, uh, 820-2341-740 uh, area code. But uh, probably talk to somebody because surely to goodness somebody knows who I am. But uh, but before we get off, I'd like to thank Mobile One for the opportunity to be here in this booth. This is a great show, a great booth. I'm grateful to you guys for interviewing this deal here today and, and uh, look forward to the season ahead of us. And... Uh, if they're looking for me, they can probably look on TRD late model as well. It's a three-quarter version of a late model. We also contract build for TRD. So not only Kyle, I'm doing some other stuff that takes a lot of time. Do some. Uh, we're working on now our new IMCA modified that's slowly going to get out there. I'm not a big modified pusher because it takes me too long to build, and Kyle takes up all the time, so there ain't much left. We also do I, our UMP modified stuff. We're going to have those here to show this year. We're going to have three-quarter deal here, but... Uh, the three-quarter deal backed out. We got an Esslinger engine package for that now. If we knew that then, we'd be here. But there's so many things I've got on my plate that I've got to try to get some more time some way. But uh, look on the Internet, SwartzRaceCars.com. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Right, there they are, Kyle Burke and Audie Schwartz here at the IMIS Trade Show.